Pet owners are on high alert in San Marcos after a house cat tested positive for rabies. City San Marcos notified neighbors close by, but without knowing exactly where the cat picked it up, many people are still concerned. KXAN's Lauren Landman talked with a veterinarian about it. Some flyers still hang on doors in the Blanco Gardens neighborhood warning pet owners of a rabid cat. It's kind of scary. Um, yeah, I called my, my mom and asked if the cat was vaccinated. Last week, the cat bit its owner and the family dog. She verbally told me that her cat was not current on a rabies shot, that it started acting erratic the day before, bitter and suddenly died. Veterinarian Cherry Seaton says it's rare that a household pet is diagnosed with rabies. I would say this is a wake up call to this community to get your pets vaccinated and keep them vaccinated. Like all vaccinations, the rabies vaccine isn't 100% effective, but will definitely help if your pet is exposed to the disease. For those in the Blanco Gardens neighborhood, the diagnosis comes as a warning. I've just uh, Googled rabies and uh, checked on my animals vaccinations. Many are keeping their pets indoors or locked in their pens. I would I would definitely not be letting my uh, animals roam at all. But for how long? Cherry says there's no timeline. Without knowing what gave the cat rabies to begin with, she says there's always a chance others can come in contact. Lauren Landman, KXAN News. Getting a vaccine for your pet is required by the state. Most cats will need the vaccine once a year and every three years for dogs.